In other news this evening, a St. Paul family says it spent decades trying to restore a historic house only for a fire to destroy it yesterday. The mansion was just footsteps from the Cathedral of St. Paul. And Kate Raddatz spoke with the family today. A lot of history here, Kate. There certainly is, Liz. The fire broke out at 251 Dayton Avenue yesterday afternoon, causing extensive damage to the home. According to the Minnesota Historical Society, it was once known as the Stanford Newell House and built in the 1860s. But the family who had lived there since the mid-1970s, it was simply home. You could still smell smoke lingering in the air on Dayton Avenue. It smelled like a campfire. Anthony came by to see the damage from Tuesday's fire. The original limestone brick outside is still intact, but inside there is noticeably charred wood and broken windows. I didn't know it was this destroyed. To be honest, it's like completely destroyed on the inside. The home is more than 150 years old and literally right across the street from the cathedral. The family says it's a historic landmark. This is devastating. Kim Onbaugh is the mother of Dana Onbaugh, who lived in the home with his girlfriend and her grandparents. They all got out during the fire, but two cats died. They're, they're very affectionate towards their pets, so that was a great loss. Dana told WCCO his girlfriend's grandparents bought the historic mansion in the 1970s. City records show there were a handful of complaints against the homeowners in the last 15 years for things like burning trash and junk in the yard. A GoFundMe page for the family says they expect to be out of a place to live for at least a year. They still need a place to live in the meantime. and. Um uh, they don't have anything, <laughs> so uh, they need everything. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. It is unclear if the homeowners will rebuild or be able to save this piece of St. Paul history. It was an awesome home. Dana told me three renters also lived in that home. If you'd like to help the family, we have donat donation information up at WCCO.com slash links. Right, thank you, Kate. Mm -hmm.